person is, in this state, have moved to make staff redundant. These include full time academics, and researching in some very key areas. I mean, other universities I know well where I've worked, some of the academics in the environment practice are currently being targeted, and some of them have been made redundant. This is terrible. We can ill afford very experienced academics from such important areas. Here at Adelaide, casual teaching staff are being targeted. Now, when this happens, casual teaching staff, whether it's full time uh, academics, what do we get? We get more crowded classes. Now, some of you have seen our ads that we've been running on TV to, to highlight that, pointing out that. The last few years, the, the, the classes have got bigger and bigger, virtually doubling since the time when I was a student. In addition to the crowded classes, less help for students. Staff are there when they're, when they're teaching to be available to students. If there's not enough of them, students can't get access. Specialist courses get abolished. We've already heard, heard that mentioned. And those specialist courses should not be abolished. They are the niche key areas that a lot of important research is being, being done and a lot of students are wanting to study. The number of students in a tutorial class back when I, I was a student was on average seven or eight. These days, the average is well over 20 and quite often over 30. That's not an environment where you can have a proper engagement, a proper interchange between students and, and, and staff. So this obviously affects the quality of learning, which affects our graduating professionals. So, only if universities are properly funded and students properly supported can these very disturbing trends um, be reversed. So